Hi friends, how are you all? I hope you all are good. My name is Sanju and you're welcome to my channel English with Sanju. And in tonight's video, I'll read out the biography of Virginia Woolf. Ready? Let's go. Athlete Virginia Woolf was born on 25th January 1882 and died on 28th March of 1941. She was an English writer considered one of the most important modernist 20th century authors and also a pioneer in the use of uh, stream of consciousness as a narrative device now this will be a little complicated term for us to understand however let's find out more in short born at little virginia stephen 25th january 1882 south Kensington London England died 25th March 1941 at the age of 59 in Lewes England occupation novelist essayist publisher and critic alma mater is king's college london and notable works mrs dalloway 1925 to the lighthouse 1927 orlando 1928 a room of one's own in 1929 the waves 1931 spouse leonard wolf married 1912 now she has lot of relatives like george herbert duckworth her brother stella duckworth half sister gerald duckle what half brother laura stephen half sister venesta stephen is a sister Tommy Stephen is a brother. Adrian Stephen is also a brother, and Catherine Stephen is a cousin. Now, would you like to hear her voice? Let's hear it. Okay, that was her voice, and uh, she was born in a rich family. She was the seventh child in the blended family of eight. Her mother Julia, celebrated as a pre-Raphaelite artist model, had three children from her first marriage. While Wolf's father, Leslie Tiffin, on Notable man of letters had one previous daughter. Now, Wolf's childhood uh, came to an abrupt end in nine in eighteen ninety five with the death of her mother and her first mental breakdown. Followed two years later by the death of her half sister and a mother figure to her, Stella Duckworth. From nine from eighteen ninety seven. To nineteen not one, she attended the ladies' department of King's College London, where she studied classics and history, and came into contact with early reformers of women's higher education and women's rights movement. Other important influences were her Cambridge-educated brothers and unfettered access to her father's vast library. Encouraged by her father, who began writing professionally in 1900, her father's death in 1905 caused another mental breakdown for Wolf. Following his death, the Stephen family moved from Kensington to the more bohemian Bloomsbury, where they adopted a free-spirited lifestyle. It was in Bloomsbury where, in conjunction with the brothers intellectual friends they formed the artistic and literary bloomsbury group in 1912 she married leonard wolf and in 1917 couple founded the hogarth press which published much of her work 
they rented a home in Sussex and moved there permanently in 1940. Throughout her life, Wolf was troubled by her mental illness. She was institutionalized several times and attempted suicide at least twice. Her illness may have been bipolar disorder for which there was no effective intervention during her lifetime. In 1941 at the age of 59, Wolf died by putting rocks in her coat pockets and drowning herself in the river house at Lewis. So this was her life and let's talk about her work. Wolf is considered to be one of the most important 20th century novelists, a modernist. She was one of the pioneers using stream of consciousness as discussed earlier alongside alongside contemporaries such as Marcel Proust, Dorothy Richardson and James Joyce. Wolf's uh, reputation was at its greatest during the 1930s but uh, declined considerably following World War II. The growth of feminist criticism in the 1970s helped re-establish her reputation. Virginia submitted her first article in 1890 to a competition in Tidbits. Although it was rejected, this shipboard romance by the eight-year-old would presage her first novel 25 years later as would contributions to the Heidi Park News such as the moderator to show young people the right way to express what lies in their hearts. So then fiction and drama, her first novel Wawage Out was published in 1915 and she was 33 then. Mrs. Salloway came in 1925 to the Lighthouse in 1927, Orlando, a biography, 1928, Waves, 1931, Flush, a biography, 1933. Her last work, Between the Acts, 1941, sums up the magnifies Wolf's chief preoccupation, the transformation of life to art sexual ambivalence and meditation on the themes of flux of time and life presented simultaneous as corrosion and rejuvenation, all set in a highly imaginative and symbolic narrative encompassing along all English history. This book is the most lyrical of her works, not only in feeling but in style, Being chiefly written in verse, while Wolf's work can be understood as consistently in a dialogue with the Bloomsbury group, particularly its tendency, informed by G. E. Moore, among others, towards Dr. René Rayla's rationalism, rationalism, it is not a simple recapitulation of cottagist ideals so this is it I hope you got the glimpse of her life and her famous works please hit the like button if you like the video you should like the video right if you came so far and comment for suggestions and feedback share it with every person you know subscribe and ask all your friends to subscribe and when you subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you get all notifications from my channel. Till then, it's bye from me, Sanju. Take good care of yourself, your family, and not to forget your friends. See you in the next video.